Well, hey there. My name is Laurie McLean, and this is my YouTube channel, RA Raw, and I often speak directly to the warrior, the person with rheumatoid arthritis. Today's video, however, I'm actually going to talk to the people who love a warrior, the husbands, wives, parents. I want to talk to you about the person you love and what they are going through and what you can do to help them. First though, a little bit of back history. I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis at the age of two and have been living with the disease now for 40 years. I've seen a lot of things change over the years. The advancements in medications come so far. It's been amazing, it really has. In fact, I have been in remission now for five years and I am loving life and feeling better than I ever have. Now, to be honest, I always loved life. I didn't know any different than what I felt every day. It wasn't until I went into remission that I really got some perspective and realized that I felt pretty crappy for a long time. So I decided to do this particular video today because I have been told by so many people that their families just don't understand what they're going through and they don't know how to explain to them what they're feeling and what they're going through and why they can't do the things they used to do. I had a woman contact me and say that her spouse accused her of being lazy all the time. And she said, I am not a lazy person. I never have been. I didn't relax until my feet were in bed at night. She said she was literally on the go 24 seven. But now that she's been diagnosed with RA, that has completely changed. The things that she used to do around the house she can no longer do. And unfortunately, her spouse read that as her just being lazy. So she said to me, how can I explain to him that I'm not being lazy, that my body just simply doesn't have the fuel that it used to have? I thought, you just said it. You just explained it. Your body does not have the fuel that it used to have. The fuel that we do have tends to go really quick because it takes that much more to run this engine. We often feel like we have the flu achiness throughout our body in joints that have been affected by the RA. When I first stepped foot out of bed in the morning, it literally felt like every bone in my foot was broken. I would hobble my way to the shower and allow that hot water to run over my body and loosen up my seized joints. Our mobility is decreased so much in the morning. And oftentimes the medication that we have to take to battle the disease will make us very nauseated. And again, for myself, mornings were always the worst for that. So along with the pain and stiffness comes fatigue from dealing with those two things. And that's not the only thing that causes fatigue. Oftentimes the meds that we are on will make us extremely fatigued as well. So when your warrior says, I just don't have the energy, they're not being lazy. They literally do not have the energy. It hasn't been just warriors that have contacted me. It's also been spouses. I had one husband contact me and say, I want to help my wife, but I just don't know how. I don't know how to fix this. That broke my heart because this isn't something that he can fix, but he can help by doing things like picking up the slack a little, helping out with laundry, making meals, doing dishes, the loss of independence can be the hardest thing and the scariest thing to face. So the more you can help them retain that independence, the better. Start with rearranging things in your kitchen to make them more accessible. When shoulders and elbows and hands are affected, reaching up to high cupboards can be, it's impossible, it honestly is. So if you can bring those items down to a lower spot for them to access easily, it helps them. And they feel like they don't always have to ask for help. There can be all kinds of difficulties throughout the house, but start with one room and help them adapt that to what works for them. The other way that I suggest that spouses and loved ones help their warrior out is by researching the disease as well. The more you know about this disease, the more help you can be to your loved one. And if your loved one would like you to, go to their doctor's appointments as well, especially in the beginning of the diagnosis, because there's so much information that doctors will be giving your loved one. It's so good to have someone there to even take notes. That's a fantastic help. I also suggest that you do activities with your loved one, like swimming, yoga, walking. It really helps to have a partner out there cheering us on. Another thing that I think you need to be aware of 
is that stress can lead to a rheumatoid arthritis flare, a time when our disease is at a more is more active and causing more pain and stiffness and swelling. So if you can help reduce their stress, that's a wonderful way to show you care. I find meditation really helps. So meditate together. Learn to face this thing as a team so that the warrior doesn't feel alone. Patience is key when you love a warrior. It takes us longer to do things. And sometimes we just need help. I can almost guarantee that your warrior will not ask for help because they want to be able to do it themselves. But sometimes we do just need a little extra help with things. My number one tip to helping your warrior get through this is love them and let them know that you love them regardless. Be there. You can never love too much. So I wanna thank you for watching this video and taking the time to research. And I hope this helped. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I post videos every Thursday related to rheumatoid arthritis, and it will help you to gain more understanding as to what your warrior is going through. Bye for now.